Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. In today's video, we'll be going over a proof that if a graph is bipartite, then it has no odd cycles. Some of you might know that the converse of this statement is true as well, that if a graph has no odd cycles, then it is bipartite. To me, that statement is even more interesting, and I've actually already done a video on a proof of that statement. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description, so check it out if you're interested. But recently, someone said in the comments they'd like to see a proof of this statement, so that's what we are doing today. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're proving that if a graph is bipartite, then it has no odd cycles, and this is fairly easy to prove directly. We'll begin, of course, with just a generic bipartite graph, and since it's bipartite, we know that we can partition its vertex set into two partite sets that we'll call X and Y, such that every edge in the graph joins a vertex from X to a vertex in Y. And we know we can do this by definition of a bipartite graph. Now, let's consider a cycle in our graph. And without loss of generality, suppose that our cycle begins in the set X. Remember that cycles are closed. So whatever this cycle might be, and wherever it might go, it has to return back to the same vertex in the set X. And therefore, the cycle must traverse an even number of edges. Every odd-numbered edge will put the cycle in the set Y. For example, here's the first edge. Every even-numbered edge, here's the second edge, will bring the cycle back to the set X. Here's the third edge, another odd edge, and it brings the cycle to Y. The fourth edge, another even edge, brings it back to X. Another odd edge, the fifth edge, goes to Y, and then another even edge would go back to X. And again, we know this has to be the case because this is a bipartite graph. So each additional edge must take the cycle from one partite set to the other. And thus, since the cycle needs to come back to where it started, it has to have an even length. Otherwise, it can't possibly end up back at the right partite set. Thus, any cycle in a bipartite graph is even, so bipartite graphs have no odd cycles. So that's pretty slick. I think it's pretty easy to see this reasoning for the statement, but some people might not be quite satisfied with this visual demonstration. So let's get into a bit more detail with a proof by contradiction. And as I always say, I don't write the whole proof out for you, that would be very boring. I like to give you the basic idea of the proof, so if you're hoping to write out the full proof yourself, you're going to need to make sure you understand every detail. For starters, of course, we assume we have a bipartite graph, so we can partition its vertex set into a set X and a set Y, again, such that each edge goes from X to Y. Then, let's suppose, for the sake of contradiction, that there is an odd cycle in our graph, which we will call C. And let's just say this cycle starts with the vertex V1, then goes to V2, and so on, all the way to some last vertex Vn before returning to V1. Since we assumed that this is an odd cycle, we know that n has to be odd. That's this n right here. Again, n has to be odd for this cycle to be odd. So how does that help us? Well, for starters, since we know that this cycle is in our bipartite graph, we can start to sort these vertices into partite sets and see if we stumble upon a contradiction. Without loss of generality, let's say the first vertex, V1, is an element of X. And this proof would proceed the same way if we said it was an element of Y. Then, since the next vertex in the cycle is V2, that means that V1 and V2 are adjacent. So V2 has to be in the other partite set, which is Y. Similarly, since V2 is adjacent to V3, V3 is going to be forced to be in X. And this pattern will continue. The odd-numbered vertices will have to be in X, like V1, V3, V5, and so on. So let's write that down. VI is an element of X if I is odd. We could also make a statement about the even vertices, V2, V4, and so on, but we actually won't need to for this proof. We know that each vertex VI is an element of X when I is odd. So what vertex does that mean must be in X? 
Well, that would be this little guy right here, Vn, because remember, n is odd. So, we have that Vn is an element of x. But since Vn and V1 are consecutive vertices in this odd cycle, that means that they have to be adjacent. So, we could write that Vn, V1, is an element of the edge set of this graph we haven't named, let's just call it G. And this is our contradiction. This is a contradiction because remember, Vn and V1 are both in the same partite set. Thus, by definition, they cannot be adjacent to each other. There can't be an edge that joins them. But by assuming that an odd cycle exists in our graph, that forces two vertices in the same partite set to be adjacent, and that is a contradiction. Thus, there cannot exist an odd cycle in a bipartite graph. And that, my friends, is really all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand how to prove that if a graph is bipartite, then it has no odd cycles. And again, I already did a video on a proof of the converse of this statement, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or if any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Also, we just hit 2,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for that. Be sure to subscribe to anyone who hasn't for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. Pictures of